a lot of content would go to Shutterstock and Adstock would be out of business. So you have the option to complain about it and just stop uploading images or you can adapt and try to make the best out of it. Also, stock images used to be that all white, clean images with perfect retouched models, but it's not like that anymore. Now it's more like real people doing real stuff in real life environments. So you wouldn't get very far with those 15 year old images, so you have to adapt. And the last tip for today, never stop learning and trying new things. Okay, um, I consider myself as a good stock photographer, it was not always like that, but even now with around 36,000 images and 5,000 videos in my portfolio, I still learn all the time. I watch videos about lighting on YouTube or on Skillshare, and I also buy an online course about lighting or filming or some other thing from time to time, and I learn a lot from each of them. But also, just watching YouTube, even my videos, do not make you a better photographer, so you just have to go out there and try by yourself. So stay curious, try new things, even if you have to go out of your comfort zone, and just have fun. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and if there's a particular thing that you enjoyed, uh, write that down in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. Today I'll show you my process of selecting, processing and uploading my photos to iStock. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Luca and I'm a photographer and videographer. I'm selling my photos and videos online on iStock and get the images and I'm also making these videos about stock photography, videography, camera gear and similar stuff. So if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. Okay, as some of you requested, today I'll show you how I select, edit and upload images from one of my stock photo shoots to iStock, which ads I'm using for that. And yeah, along the way I'll give you some tips if I'll have any. Uh, but let me warn you, you'll never, ever edit photos the same way again. Yeah, not really, I'm just kidding, it's nothing special. Also, as you see, I don't have my usual lighting setup here, because when I'm editing photos, I want all my lights to be daylight temperature, which is around 5500 Kelvin, and that's why I only have this key light here, which is a little bit too bright for editing, but that just for today so you can see me and also I have my main light power tube in the back also set to 55 and with color. So let's just jump into the computer and do it. And there are two more things that we'll need and those are uh, water and of course coffee. First thing, when I come from the photo shoot, of course, I empty all my memory cards to my computer. I create a folder for that photo shoot and copy all my images to photos folder and all my videos to video folder. And I'm not totally satisfied with this uh, folder arrangement, so maybe I'll change that a little bit in the future. Uh, so, if I'm shooting with more cameras, I create a separate folder for each camera so I have everything organized. I also create a backup copy of all those files to my Synology NAS just in case because we all know that eventually all hard drives fail. Then when I have a folder with images ready, I open that folder with Photo Mechanic. And okay. I use photo mechanic for selecting photos, so I give five stars to the ones that I think are good enough and one star to the crappy ones, to the ones that I'll delete later. And why I'm using photo mechanic instead of Lightroom to do that is that it's much faster this way. 
because when you go through images it loads them instantly not like Lightroom when it's just loading and loading and loading uh, so yeah let's go through the images I'll give five stars here okay, nothing, nothing, not really in focus so delete that one star okay, five stars here five stars here um, I like this one okay, this is one star this one is not in focus not in focus five stars here Go five stars here. I don't like this trash can in the back, so maybe I won't edit this one. But anyway, okay, fine. Okay, one star, one star. So, okay, I kind of like this one five stars. But, uh, not really. Okay, one. Okay, there's too much going on in the background, so this kind of images I just mark with one star. Okay, oh, I like the lighting here. Yeah, five stars, we'll see. Mm -hmm. This one's not in focus totally okay this one yeah, I like this one let's give this one five stars um, so, so, so. okay and okay this one's not in focus and that truck in the back is distracting this one is awesome Thank uh -huh.